So now we have the co-main event, which is Vahag versus Eric. Vahag representing Dukando in the red corner, and Eric representing K1 in the blue corner. And I should say that this should be another interesting firework fight. Here we are in the first round. You know, normally in these fights I have some background on the fighters and we talk about their last fights. These guys we know nothing about. We learn it all in the first round. Yes. Well, I can tell you what, Bahag is doing amazing right now. Not letting off the hook, not letting Eric off the hook. Landing the best shots. Landing the best shots. There, the, the, anything can happen when guys are throwing bombs like this. Yes, yes. One gets caught with a kick or a punch, it could be out. It could be over. Correct. Wow, these guys are good. Dangerous fight both sides. Oh, beautiful ass kick and a combination followed by Bob. Beautiful knockdown. You know what he did? He threw one, right, they threw one straight, straight punch. punch. Yes. They, they need to throw more straight punches yeah, to see what it does. Because it sets you don't miss a straight punch. Right. Beautiful punch. Beautiful knockdown scored by the right corner of the And here we are. We are continuing the bout. So far, an exciting first round. Low kick from red corner. Working his way in. Beautiful right hand. My Vahag in the red corner. I think the blue corner has filled Vahag's power and is being a little bit more cautious as the round is progressing towards its end. And we started off going about 100 miles an hour. We're and going about 50. Yes, and Don, remember, these guys are still teenagers. They are under the age of 18. They are 17 years old. And look at the combinations that they throw against each other. Amazing fight, amazing round. Great round. We have to give it, uh, I believe, unofficially, Bob. Uh, yes, unofficially, Bob, absolutely. But this was a huge round too. It was not just a slight advantage to Baha. Three points is big in the sport of Dukendo for a knockdown. That is a huge thing. So I feel that Hike needs to, uh, Eric needs to get busy as soon as the second round starts. I guarantee he's going to come out. Put his corner hard. His corner's got to be telling him, you got to win this next round. you got to win this one. Then you have a chance to win the fight. To lose this one. It's gonna be very difficult. We are almost underway for the second round. Let's oh. hope that the second round is just as exciting. And you know what, Don? We have been getting our wish to buy. Yes, he's, that's a, that should be a knockdown. Yes, it is a knockdown. It's considered a knockdown and a towel being thrown. So the 
winner by retirement of the corner. I didn't think that was going to happen, but you know what? I'm used to pro fights. And I don't go to amateur fights very often. Most people should do it in amateur. If you have a doubt that you're a fighter, is capable of defending himself to pull him out and quit. Yes, I it, believe it's, it's an amateur. There's not pros. Yes, and I believe the blue blue corner did a very educated thing because the fight was going. But like I said, Don, he couldn't find a home for his jab, his cross, his kick. They know better than yes, we know yes. what he did take and, and how damaged he was. Absolutely. And if they thought he couldn't defend himself, he stopped the fight. Absolutely. But and, I but might, in pros, you know, we we. Tend to let them go a little bit more. Fight. Yeah, I'll fight. Yes, and, and I there really knockdowns. We didn't waive the knockdown rule. Yes, that was a very educated decision by the corner. Yes, and a very great fight by Vlad. Amazing performance and a great job.